Okay, it's almost time to finish the round. But first, it's time to flex your political muscles. They're not as capable as political hydraulics, but you will have to make do with what you have. The last phase of the game before continuing to the next round is for decrees and directives. In this phase, every manager may choose one decree card from their hand that they would like to implement in the colony. If you're playing a semi-cooperative game, you may keep these hidden until everybody has made their selection. If you're playing a fully cooperative game, everyone is on the same team and hiding decrees is counterproductive. Each manager who chooses to register a decree must pay the fee visible on the lower left corner of the card from their own resources. Some decrees will have no fee. Each manager then registers their chosen decree in turn order by placing it above the arc. The best scanning method is to align the decree long ways along the longer axis of the arc cap and line up the top edge of the decree with the shorter side of the arc. This aligns the RFID sticker and the antenna. Making contact with the arc cap should ensure a very good scan. If your decree cards have been thickly sleeved, or if you seem to be having some trouble scanning, slightly depress the decree into the cap. After scanning the decree card, the app will ask for the identity of the proposing manager. Place the manager's ID token on the art cap to confirm. Proposed decrees should be placed in front of the introducing manager while waiting for the voting results. Remember that proposing a decree does not automatically apply its influence. The colony citizens will vote on the decrees during the round change and the results will be shown on the first phase of the next round. Each decree card, if introduced and accepted, may affect the happiness, security, and technical state of the colony, as shown by the icons on the decree. Decrees will also provide additional rules that are written on the card. Some additional rules will be entirely handled within the system, but some will be implemented by the managers on the table. Instead of a decree, each manager may choose to introduce their directive with the same procedure once per turn. The only difference with submitting a directive is that it will always be implemented. There's no voting required, so directives will always be passed. That is the last phase of each round. After registering all of their decrees, players should press and confirm the next button to start the next round of the game. That's it! Those are all the instructions for a full round of managing a colony. Are you ready to play? I am! I choose to play this decree. It says that I become president of the whole planet! All humans belong to me! That's really what it says! How exciting! Your face alignment is strange. You should be very excited for both of us! Now I will get the respect I deserve, and you will get a competent and lovable government! Free server repairs for all! Cancel software update debt! No! Bow to your president! Bow before I...